Hey guys, this is Chris and welcome back to another edition of Hacking IELTS. In our last episode, we looked at some common mistakes when completing the listening section of the IELTS exam. In this episode, we're going to take a look at an interview with two test takers here in Dubai. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Thank you for coming here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's start with the gentleman on the end. So can you tell us who you are and what do you do here in Dubai? My name is Maid Walid. I am a uh, Rochester University student and I study electrical engineer. All right, thank you. My name is Mohammed Jassim and I've graduated from DU Academy. And now I'm a student with Maid and RIT uh, Dubai. All right, so talking about the IELTS exam now, what version did you guys end up taking? Did you take the general or the academic version? Academic, right. academic, yeah. academic, yeah. Academic? Yeah, because we need it for work and university. Uh, what was your experience with the listening, Mayat? Uh, first of all, for the, for the listening, my experience that was for the, for the listening is to focus on, like, focus on the, what the person, what the subject will be and uh, don't think about something else. Just think about, focus on what you hear, what the subject will be. And that's what my experience was. Okay. And how about you, Mohammed Jassim? Yeah, it was a conversation between two people. Yeah, then, uh, as Mike said, you have to focus on what uh, he or she says because uh, it kind of gets trickier uh, uh, when the times go on. The listening is about like like you play a game to have a level like a level one level two level three the first right. level will be easy second level will be harder so you must focus on what what you hear you mean the sections the section yeah that's what right I mean. and then you, how many sections were there again three sections three four four, four. right there are yeah. four sections okay so okay. section one was quite easy and then by the end when you got to section four yeah it was a lot more difficult so, so way harder you, yeah so First of all, you want you want to focus on the section one, so you start uh, focus on section two, three. three. So it'll be harder, more harder. Right. You know, step I used step. a trick. Uh, whenever I, I heard uh, what she says or he says, uh, I circle it or I write it down. Yeah. Then uh, if she says something else, uh, I can uh, just raise it up. Okay, so that's a good strategy. That's a nice tip. So it's your answer booklet. And you can do what you want. You can underline, you can circle, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and mark it up however you need. That's what I like. That's Good strategy. Yeah. yeah. I like that one. Like Muhammad said, to write and to, to like speak, but not loudly, what the person talk about. Like to, rem to put in your mind what the subject is, what, what she talk about. So this is the strategy. Let's talk about accents for the listening exam. Mm. So what were some of the accents that you guys heard? British, British accent. Yeah, British we heard accent. a British accent. By the time it gets harder, harder to listen and focus. Because it gets very quickly, very, the they accent talk faster. Talk faster. Okay, yeah. so even with the conversations, with the dialogues, you were getting only British accents? They didn't mix... The accents at all? Uh, actually, I don't know about the other accent, but I know that the British accent, uh, what I heard is Br yeah. British accent. Did okay. you hear any um, Australian accents at all? I think uh, the section four was Australian, but uh, the problem I can't re recognize or differentiate between the Australian yeah, still, and the yeah. British. All right, as long as you could understand it. Yeah, yeah okay. I could, yeah. So what are some tips maybe that you guys could offer or test takers regarding the accents because you know sometimes some candidates do struggle with different accents if it's you know they're not used to Australian or they're not used to British maybe they're not used to Canadian mm. so what would be some tips for people to See, get better can, with them you can practice practicing that is the solution for everything so uh, when I did the listening I was practicing a lot I do it with my English teacher at my high school Okay, great. Well, so, okay, my head. Yeah. Go For ahead. me, is like if you want to know about British accent and learn about it, you have so many movies, or uh, you can see on YouTube someone like speak a British accent, you know, this accent. So, you must look up to and search and see what you can do. 
So movies can really help? Yeah, actually. Yeah. TV series, movies. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a good strategy because you can just watch your favorite movie or Netflix series yeah. over and over until yeah. you, you know, get all the expressions that they mm. use. Podcasts might help as well. Mm. What recommendations would you guys make for people uh, regarding the listening? How can they get prepared? So as you I said, s- practicing, yeah. listening. Uh, what are some other things they could do? Uh, I mean, uh, you could go to a person who speak that accent. Uh, for example, you go to a British person, so you understand what he says. Okay. Yeah. You have a conversation with him. Yeah. You just uh, listen what he what he say, speak, like a conversation. Okay. Like a normal conversation. You know? So tell me about the university that you guys are attending. Yeah. Um, what kind of students are there? Where are they from? Uh, there's, um, uh, I think there's no British. Yeah, there's no from UK. I, I don't see anyone from UK. But uh, they have American. They have um, from uh, China. You know, different different countries. But they speak. Uh, the, actually, they speak like uh, someone like from China, or uh, they speak like uh, American accent or British accent. You know. How about the instructors? Instructors, uh, there's uh, all American. I think this is a bit, you know, almost. It American. is American university, so yeah. most of them are Americans. Are Americans yeah. Right. Yeah, so they have an American accent. In the next episode, we'll chat with the guys again regarding their experience with the reading section on the exam. Did you find this episode helpful? Let me know in the comment section on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for new videos like this every week. Or be sure to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Take care, guys, and catch you in the next one.